Hi everyone, it's Fadrek. And for the people who don't know me yet, I'm a big, I mean, I'm a huge AI fan. Coding AI is one of the things that I enjoy doing the most in life. And another fact about me, I have OCD. And organizing stuff is always a thing that I had to do with everything around me. Everything should be organized or I lose my mind pretty fast. So I decided to do a teeny tiny AI project about the storage that have small stupid robots that sort things out and then deliver them to trucks when needed. And the result was amazing. And yup, I guess now I want to make a screensaver from it and to calm my mind from time to time. It's simple down there. All the stuff get drops and the robots come down and carry the stuff and put them in the right place. Until someone requests them, then the robots will carry that items for them. Woo! I love this. <laughs> now, now let's focus a bit. I'll talk a bit about my thinking process and how did all that come from the design to the code structure. Let's get started. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and join our community in Discord to interact with other game developers and share your game progress. Link in the description. But now for real, let's get started. First of all, I hopped into Assist Forge, which is an amazing app that will help you create 3D models from joining blocks together. It's easy. And if you enjoyed Lego in your long days, you will love this app. I'll put link down in the description if you want to support the guy behind it, it's highly recommended. So I created a small drone in the shape of a truck with one wheel in front, it's pretty cool. After that, I designed the storage area with areas to store the stuff and areas to drop and request stuff from. After that, I had to be a bit creative using random blocks to make some resources to be used in the storage system. After finishing the 3D models, I started coding the AI in this small project. I did something very simple for the code structure. I wanted to, to have a main mastermind, aka the storage AI, in the middle and the AI controls all the drones in the storage area. And I have a task manager which creates the tasks that have been given from the user and gives them back to the storage AI for him to choose his drones to do it. I went for a simple structure to do the job and can be done in a small project time span. First of all, on the coding area, I love going from bottom to top and start coding the drone AI and I have been coding 2D games for the past year and getting back to 3D was a bit tough but I managed to get the drone AI up and running with the Unity navigational system. After that, I wanted to create a small storage spaces and start ordering the resources and then writing a simple code that will make them appear based on how many resources that area have. And this code have some small functions like check if full, check if empty and add item and remove item. And of course, I did some testing and yes, it's working. As you all can see, storage areas can be stocked with items and we can remove items from them at the press of a button. And that all the drone AI needs to operate. And then I worked on a small item depot, the same as the storage areas, nothing more. After that, I wanted the drone to show what kind of items it's holding all the time. So I went in and adjusted the prefab, added some resource representation, added the object to the code and then added the function to control the object to show what needs to be shown. After that, I started combining everything together the code, the storage AI, and the drones AI. And then add some local tasks and run the test with five drones and everything is working perfectly. With the drones gathering the five items from the depot and inserting them into the storage area. In the end, was the time to build the task manager script, which check if the task is viable, then construct them and send them to the storage AI to be done by the loyal drones. And I finished everything up by adding the UI to be, to be easier to order items and then to send them to the storage and design the pattern with 2D art of the 3D models from the asset forge and then duplicate the UI and add the right function to each one of them. Finally, it's time for the last test run, but before that I want to multiply the drones, maybe like 20 drones, yeah, it's good, and it would make the process even faster to organize the storage. I built the Unity app and it was time to test and yes, 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 everything is working amazingly. 
with the, with the drones drop and pick up items and each time they deliver an item we get a small school post to measure the AI power okay guys do you need anything else from me I'm staying here watching all the drone work oh I love this stuff yeah, yeah 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 one one last thing guys before you leave don't forget to like share and subscribe see you all in the next video oh i like this okay bye see you later guys